There we go. All righty. Um, turn this down in the background. We all know the game just got over with. Um, this is my first tiny chat. Uh, actually, I'm working on lighting here. I'm in a hotel room somewhere on the East Coast here. So the lighting's not great. Um, see what else can I do here? One second, yeah. Uh, lighting's good. Lighting's good, it says. Okay, works for everyone. I look fine. All right. Um, well, uh, like I said, first tiny chat. Uh, NBA Finals, this is game three. I'm sure you, you were watching as I was following along with uh, some of the chat. I'll work Alexander Fox, <laughs> UCLA unknown. No one knows my full name, huh? Okay. Uh, as I was following along, I saw a mix of uh, math fans, heat fans. Uh, got a fellow Canadian here. It's cool. Are you in Canada, fellow Canadian? Yeah, okay. Well, uh, some of my thoughts uh, is Magic Johnson and John Barry in the background are chatting it up here about what went down. I'm thinking uh, difficult game for the Mavs to come home to and actually lose after stealing that second game in Miami. But uh, big players made big plays. Uh, actually, I should say that for Miami, Chalmers, you know, I shouldn't say he surprised me. Chalmers probably, throughout the course of the game, was, was more than not a big key for the Miami Heat. Uh, defensively, they played wrong throughout the game, except except for that Dallas Mavericks run that uh, they went on. I think it was a, maybe a 17 to two run. Uh, defense wins championships. Uh, Cassie Leaf, Leaf here wants to know who the who the heck is Rick Fox? <laughs> I'm Rick Fox. Um, what do you think? Uh, actually, I'm going to take a couple of questions, then I'll open it up and see if this video experience actually works uh, for all of us so we can actually see face to face. A uh, couple of topics on my mind that I'm thinking about. Let's see. Um, Shaq retired this week. That was huge. Shaq retired after 19 years. Played eight, eight of those 19 with him in LA. What else? Uh, obviously that what? Yeah, that would be a uh, Celtic fan in the background eating Chinese food in the bedroom. Said that he retired as a Celtic. <laughs> Someone's just finding out. Uh, Hope Reynolds just found out that Shaq retired. Sorry to break the news. I thought that was already uh, out there. Hope that. Uh, hope you didn't have any games t would with Shaq still going on. You're hoping to watch, but. Uh, Let's see what else. Uh, we can talk about Shaq's retirement. We can talk about Lakers' new coach. We can talk about Miami Dallas. We can talk about Mammoth College. Uh, my buddy and roommate from college is now head coach of Mammoth College. I don't know if anyone from Mammoth College is out there. Um, it says here this is a recording. This is a recording. What does that mean? Uh, let's see. We've got about 137 people looking to chime in. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm, I think that's enough of me just talking to myself. Why don't we click uh, broadcast here and see if... Oh, I know what it is. I can tell you guys the, the password. So the password to join in me face-to-face -face is the finals. There we go. Got some people popping up here. There we go. Yeah. All righty. I'm good. I'm good. So I don't know how many of you have actually done Tiny Chat before, but this is my first time, so bear with me. Uh, people are popping up as I as uh, as I look at the screen here. Uh, I don't. Are you guys? 
allowed to actually speak out loud. If we uh, push the, the, we click the little button to push the chat, yeah. Thank you, Carrie Pierce. Okay, so to make this uh, smooth, okay, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Is there a question? I need a question. Someone's got to ask a question. What do I think of the game? You, I, you know, I thought, I thought Miami coming home to, uh, I mean, on the road to Dallas after having a difficult loss in game two, I thought they'd play much better, better than they did. I thought they'd have a more consistent fourth quarter, which they did. Uh, a low-scoring game again. I think it was 88-86. Uh, that bodes well for, for the Miami Heat anytime you get a game in that, in that level of uh, range scoring. You're awesome. Dallas, awesome. Thank you, man. Dallas has got to get out and uh, get up and down the floor a little more. Uh, Let's you. see the You're password. Welcome. The finals. Let's see the password. The question is, will you give me a million dollars? A million dollars. Uh, don't actually have it. Don't actually have it here, right in the hotel room, right? Uh, only a million. Most people ask for more than that. <laughs> you're, you're a modest individual. What made you come on Tiny Chat? So I got uh, I got Tiny Chat. I was informed about Tiny Chat as because I watched uh, my girlfriend Eliza Dushku do a Tiny Chat. Uh, a couple months back, she did one with her fans. Uh, we shared the same manager to uh, to try it. Thought Andy Fonz would be a good opportunity to connect the fans and talk basketball and uh, check out the technology. Check out the technology and see how it works. How did you feel when um, the Lakers got swept out of the playoffs? That was a tough one. Watching the Lakers get so how did I feel when the Lakers got swept? That was tough. Uh, I sat courtside game two, and uh, you know that's about as close as you can get, other than being in the game. And I could see it in the faces of uh, I could see it in the faces of uh, the players that something was not uh, you know not in sync. Uh, and it wasn't so much that they weren't playing well; it just Something had turned and, and gone sour rather quickly for them, uh, all in the span of a week. And I don't know what it was about, but it was evident. And you know, to lose to the Mavericks, it was still a good team, but to lose in that fashion was a little bit unexplainable. Let's see the password. What do you want? What do you want to win the finals in all between the Heat and the Mavericks? Uh, you know what? It's uh. You know, I always normally look to see if the Lakers aren't there. I always look to see who, who I personally feel, you know, feel has been the most consistent and the most deserving throughout the course of the, the year. Uh, I think the Heat have been a team that they're coming together in such a quick fashion. They've only been together for a year, a lot of those pieces. So to be doing what they're doing is, is quite an accomplishment. Similar to, I think, the Celtics when they did it a few years back and they, they all came together, the big three there, uh, to win a championship. That was, that was uh, impressive. Uh, but Dallas as a whole, you know, the way they've, uh, they've gone through the fire for a number of years, they've been swept out of the playoffs in the first round. They've lost to the Heat in the NBA Finals. Uh, Dirk, I've become more of a Dirk fan as of late. I like the way he's playing. Uh, so so I, if I had to pick a team, I think Miami Heat are going to win you know, a number of championships over the, the coming years here. I just don't know if, if Dallas is going to get another opportunity. So, you know, I thought Mark Cuban was rather classy. I thought he was extremely classy uh, in the way he handled Phil Jackson's exit from the game in the Maverick Arena there. He did, you know, he told his fans they weren't allowed to bring brooms into the arena. I think he's been uh, an owner that stayed in the, in the background this, this championship run. Uh, this stretch of the playoffs, which has not been his normal characteristic, his normal you know, way of dealing with things. He's usually out in front, and uh, I think that's, that's admirable that he's learned, to me, that he's learned from the way he's conducted uh, the, the past uh, playoff runs. So I hope, I hope it pays off for the Mavericks. I, I think the Heat are a great team. I, I just think they're going to have many more opportunities than, than the Mavs are. So I'd like to see Dirk, Dirk get one. And Jason, Jason Kidd, too. Dirk, Dirk get one. 
I understand. I, I, I really, I really want to say thank you for your input and thank you for your opinion. But I have to go to sleep because I have a test tomorrow morning for school. I have an English one. Okay. Test. Where's school? Where you at, man? Where you, at, where you in school at? I go to school at Goldsboro High School in um, Goldsboro, North Carolina. That's cool, man, Carolina. All right. Well, way to take care of the way to take care of the schoolwork. That's important, man. Yes. Someone says, Mrs. Fox. What do you think about, you think about the, um, the uh, referees, how they were doing tonight in the game? Yeah, the, the referees, are, they're going to be as consistent as they can be from game to game. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're not going to be perfect. I just, I, I haven't made a game where I, I didn't feel the refs missed calls. And, it were, and, and it, there weren't games where I didn't think they, you know, they actually did a great job. So they're going to miss calls. They're going to have... You know, better games than others. A lot of times it favors the, the home team. It really doesn't. But in the case of uh, tonight, uh, I, I didn't think it was a poorly officiated game. But I usually watch you know, I usually watch the play of the game and expect that, it, you know, calls are going to go both ways, positively and negatively. Uh, but I think there's some games that are worse than others. I thought this was a fairly officiated game tonight. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, that sent me a thousand dollars instead of a million dollars. Okay. Uh, can you ask me something aw awesome? Thirty-three. Yes, you can. Okay. Dean Smith, Phil Jackson. Differences. Question of the differences between Dean Smith and Phil Jackson. Uh, Dean, I thought um, was was great as a uh, student uh, teacher. You know, basketball coach who was concerned about the student athlete. More of a father figure to me, more of a, from a coaching standpoint, really developed uh, young men well. Uh, D, uh, Phil Jackson, I thought, was a great, great group dynamics uh, coach in that, you know, the X and O's may not have been what he led with, but he definitely knew how to manage grown men, whereas Coach Smith knew how to deal with young, young student athletes. And was a great X and O guy. Hey, what? I have a question. Yeah, far away. What happened to you on the game? You was on the, what happened? Um, the season, and the next thing I know, the season came back. He was not no more. What happened? I went to Miami, remember? I moved to Miami. I, I left the, I left the uh, management office. Uh, I moved to Miami for a little bit. Uh, but uh, as you know, the, you know the show's back on BET, and I stay in touch with everybody on the show. Did uh, did a little work uh, on a couple other shows. I don't know if you guys have watched uh, the show Single Ladies that premiered. I'll be in I'll be in that show. So that'll be coming up on VH1 in a week or two. Did some work with uh, did some more work uh, with Tyler Perry. Went back and did some House of Pain uh, episodes. What actually happened with the game? I was scheduled to be in. This, you know, this, the return of the game. I'd been, been talking to Mara Brock Akeel and everything was uh, set. And uh, the Dancing with the Stars show uh, came up. And uh, BET at the time, they didn't know when they were going to start shooting the show down in Atlanta. And I tried to carve out in the contract with Dancing with the Stars the ability to go back and forth to shoot, the, to shoot both shows. But I couldn't get an answer from couldn't get an answer from BET on the actual scheduling, so I couldn't put them in the contract. Uh, so by the time I got done with dancing, which I went a little longer than I think a lot of people thought I would, they were already done shooting the game in Atlanta, so I missed the first uh, you know, return season of the game. So we'll see. I know they're going to come back again, and who knows, you know, maybe I'll be back in there. Sure. I'm anticipating you coming back. Woo-woo. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, you know the money question that everybody's been asking you? Yeah, yeah. Can you just send me $5? It keeps getting lower and lower, so now it's $5. We <laughs> just want $5. Let's see. Here's what, I, here's what I do have here. I do have I do have 10 here. I have $10. He didn't even stick around for his tip. So maybe I can send it to you guys. Someone, someone can actually get $10 at the end of the night. Uh, we ordered yeah, Chinese send it food. Send to me with a signature. With a signature? <laughs> It'll be worth way more. Way more. It with a signature. Okay, maybe I'll do that. Uh, we, uh, we ordered Chinese food, and and uh, 
and I've never seen a, a takeout guy not wait for a tip. I signed the signed the the, the credit card uh, statement and what? Well, yeah, well, it was like it, it might have, yeah. I, well, based on what one person said, I, I'm not a very attractive person, so I might have scared him off of my looks. <laughs> Some of you are really quiet, no questions? <laughs> Let's see, I'm going to ask some questions down here. Who's the best player question. in the NBA? I'm sorry? In, there was a question in the chat that um, I was going to ask. Somebody else put it in the chat first about who you thought was the most interesting person that you've met. Wow, the most interesting person that I've met uh, uh, in field and uh, just in passing throughout my, uh, my journeys in life or in, in the field of basketball? Yeah. In, in general, specific? In yeah. uh, maybe I can break it down. Uh, I've had I'll break it down maybe in categories. Uh, I've had um, amazing mentors. I guess you would say coaches uh, in my life. Uh, some, some of them have been the most influential uh, uh, teachers. Uh, in terms of an example would be my high school coach, Al Rhodes out of Warsaw, Indiana. He's now I think at Penn you know, at Penn High School. Extremely extremely um, interesting uh, uh, individual outside his coaching uh, skills and philosophies. Phil Jackson was pretty interesting. Uh, Player-wise, you know, Kobe's always been an enigma, but uh, just the, getting to know him has been, has been interesting. There's, there's so many layers there. Jack, is probably, Jack was probably the most enjoyable teammate to play with because he always... He always had a, a, a lightness and a big-hearted side to him. Um, Entertainment-wise, uh, oh man, I've, passed, I've crossed so many paths of, of individuals that have influenced me, uh, from directors to writers, um, fellow actors. Well, it's such a broad question. I'll, I'll do some more thinking, and I'll throw some more names out as we go along here. But that's a really good question. I wouldn't don't want to loosely answer that without really thinking a little, little deeper about that. So I'll, I'll come back to that one, too. Who's the what best, about best player in the NBA? Who's the most interesting fan you ever met? The most, once again? Interesting fan. I think fan. Huh. Well, you know what? I, no one has that title quite yet. Maybe we can, maybe we can label that tonight. Maybe we can, someone can leave with that title. Uh, I had a lot of... Uh, a lot of fans over the years uh, that have been extremely supportive, some that have uh, really dug deep to, to stick with me through thick and thin. You know, I've not always had the most, you know, glorified career as, as an athlete or an entertainer, but it, I've had bright spots and, and low spots, and I've had some people stick through uh, in, all, in all areas, uh, the highs and the lows, and so that for that I'm really grateful. Uh, definitely, and I, and I, and now with social media, I, I think I, I get to know them maybe a little better due to you know the interaction that that has been broken down between the you know the fan and the celebrity, or just people in general. So I, you know, I I consider you guys as you know fellow fellow basketball fans, and now that I'm a no longer a player, I'm just a fan of the game, and uh, and also a fan of life in general. And so we're all we're getting to all know each other. Answer me, please. Who's the best player in the NBA? <laughs> What's that answered? Uh, you know, I, I'm rather biased. It's, it's, I've been saying Kobe for many years because I saw him up close, play with him, know the difference. Uh, it's hard to look at LeBron and Dwayne and not, and not see them as, as current day. And Derrick Rose. Derek, Derek, I mean, MVP of the league. Derek, to me, though, uh, it, as dominant as he's been all season long, it was proven that he could be, you know, he could be neutralized. And it's always the case. You give a, you, you take a, take a double team and you throw it on a guy. You know, an unselfish person is gonna give the ball up. And in, and in that series, you know, they got the ball out of Derek's hands, made him take make tough shots. You know, I think he's about six four. He had to take tough shots, but but at the end of the day, you know, he's not six nine. He's not seven feet. It's all like, like Shaq or 
the way you just throw them the ball and they, you, you know, I saw Shaq scoring three individuals night in and night out. I mean, he gets fouled a lot. You know, that, that's complete dominance. And I think you dominate from the paint. So it's rare when you get a Jordan, a Kobe, a LeBron, Dwayne, these individuals who are more slashers and, and scorers who can take, take over a game. It's, it's really, it's really a, a gift and a rarity. Kevin Durant is an interesting player for me to watch. He's, he's of that, that caliber of athlete where his length is 6'9", like 6'10", six, six, long arms, scores the ball like a two-guard. So it's, you know, he's, he can go inside and out. That's, that's, that's a difficult matchup defensively to, to deal with. Who are you guys? Who are some of your favorites? Can you say hi to my cousin Jade? Jade? Where's Jade at? Yeah. Hey, Jade. Is she there in the room? Oh, hey, Jade. Where's everyone at? Let's see. T what part of the country are you from? Atlanta. Atlanta, ATL. I come through here all the time. I know. Shoot. Carrie, Carrie, Carrie Pierce is where? I live in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. My daughter's uh, nanny, Kathy, is from Pennsylvania. I was on uh, fifth... Uh, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Remember that show? I did that show with my daughter, and I was not smarter than a fifth grader. You know, question I lost. They asked me what, what three rivers connect uh, to form the Ohio River. Where, like, what's what, what city or whatever, something like that. I think it forms in the three rivers, right? In, in somewhere in Pennsylvania. Broward County. Broward County, you're another. So, you, so we got a couple Miami Heat fans on the line here. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Thomas? Where are you from, man? What, what about you, uh, Pa? I'm from Australia. Austra oh, man. Hey, man, we got someone from Australia on the line. What part of Australia? Uh, Brisbane and Queensland. Brisbane and Queensland. We were in Perth and uh, in Sydney a year ago, right around now, for the Supernova Convention. Okay, awesome. wants to know how it was, what was it like being on One Tree Hill? One Tree Hill was cool. They killed me off. I uh, ran over there and they killed me off. Uh, Nathan, Nathan uh, jumped in there and punched me to death. Uh, hi, Mary. Mary doesn't have a camera. Sorry, Mary. What did you think about Pippen's comments on LeBron being better than Jordan? Uh, I thought it might be a little premature. It was a little premature. Uh, yeah, he played with, he's played with Mike, so he may have a closer assessment of what, you know, and watching LeBron and having played with Mike. But, you know, you got to win championships first, and, and he's, got a, he's got a log, you know, he's got a log a few more years in the league uh, to, to start getting those comparisons. I mean, he's, he's obviously on track to, to change and, and, you know, change the record books and leave his mark. I just think it's uh, a little premature. Dallas, Texas, okay. So you're upset. Are you upset tonight that the Mavs lost? Yeah, a little. But... Yeah, you're a little disappointed. <laughs> well, it's it's the series isn't over. The series isn't over. They still got good, they still got two more games at home, which is good. Say hello to my Filipino fans. Hello, Filipino fans. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, when uh, uh, Eliza? Some people want to know when we're getting married. Um, when, which one of your rings mean the most? The second one. Second ring mean, means the most. Some people want to know when the most. Uh, championship ring number two. We were darn near perfect that, that playoff run. Uh, but there was so much chemistry. There was so much uh, chemistry that year in terms of cohesive uh, in sync. I guess you'd call it the Zen master had us all of one mind, uh, and we were really confident together. What's my favorite color? I am, I am of the mango family, orange mango family. That is my favorite color. Hey, say hi to Lexi. I mean, uh, let's see, shout out to Brianna. Did you ever play, did I ever play with Lamar with him? No. I would have liked to have played with Lamar Odom. I like Lamar Odom a lot. I think he's a very, very selfless basketball player, but also a very talented one. Uh, Phil Jackson, 
figured out Dennis Rodman. Enough said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on one second. Okay. Being t- I got to answer some questions that are being typed. When am I coming to New York? Uh, maybe a lot closer to New York than you think. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, who's from Boston out there? Any Boston uh, folks? Uh, Philly, got some Philly folks. St. Louis. Did I like Derrick Rose? I, I like Derrick Rose a lot. I think he's a, a future of the league. Um, questions over there. Cincinnati. Yeah. Let me hear a question. Who's got a question? Are you taking um, your? Um, are you focusing more on acting now and taking your brain toward being more of an actor? Yeah, you know, bas- basketball for me is. Like I said, uh, I'm I'm in the same category as the rest of us. I'm a I'm a fan now and fan of the uh, uh, of the game still. I watch sometimes commentate about it, but you know, for me, producing and acting is where I spend my days. I just just uh, finished a, a movie and a and a web series. I should say a web series uh, that we will that will be coming out in September. Just uh, finished shooting on Single Ladies. Uh, uh, We'll, you know, we'll see what's next, but yeah, acting is, is what I do full time and producing at the same time. Is that where you saw yourself, you know, like 15, 20 years ago? Coming out of started act, now? yeah, yeah. Started acting in 1994. Uh, first movie was Eddie uh, with Whoopi Goldberg. Actually, Blue Chips was my first movie, but I, I just played in the basketball game with Shaq and. Uh, and that was my first, first experience. And then the second one was Eddie uh, that I did. And that, that was the movie that, that I fell in love with acting and wanted to, wanted to continue on. Uh, went to see a play today that was, that was uh, amazing uh, that you guys should uh, check out. So I'll, type it, I'll type in what it was. What team do I root for? Yay, what up? Um, question again. So now yes. that you, you know, just got off the um, Dancing with the Stars and, you know, just um, the dancing skills, are you going to use it, you know, for something else with money? Uh, <laughs> dancing, uh, no, um, good experience. Enjoyed it. Had a good time. Uh, I learned a lot. Did some things I didn't, I didn't know my body could do. Got it, got an amazing shape. And then, uh, uh, unfortunately, didn't get to go through to the finals. But, but yeah, you know, I'm looking for those opportunities to dance again, and uh, would I would welcome it uh, in a project, in a, in a, you know, in some form or fashion. Uh, I learned a lot. It was a good, uh, it was a good experience. So I need to I need to announce the the password, and the password is the finals. T H E F I N A L S. The finals. For those people that can't see it text wise. What up, fabulous? Um, what, what 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 tips do you have for up and coming basketball players? Up and coming ball players. Um, uh, I'll answer that second. Hold on a second. So up, you know, tips for up and coming ball players. I don't know what level you're you're currently at in terms of your skill level, but. Uh, you know the the this, you know foundations always laid with with solid you know solid basics and skills. I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't start with ESPN highlights every night as your 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 benchmark for what you know what you should be doing in the game. You know, there's uh, those are things that you see you know guys do that have been doing you know that have been playing basketball for years and have, that have actually mastered the the basics. So I'd find I'd find a mentor, someone that can actually coach you in the basics, and repetition. It's all about repetition. Uh, I, I, I'll say this, though. You don't need, you know, it doesn't take a ton of time to, to improve. I went, I picked up a basketball when I was 15, and within a year and a half, I was being recruited by, having never played before, and a year and a half later, I was being recruited by every college team. And, you know, two years after picking up a basketball, I got, you know, I was, I got a scholarship to North Carolina, so it, it can be done. It's possible. But I'll say this. There wasn't a moment of the day that I wasn't either thinking about basketball, daydreaming about it, watching it, 
I had a basketball in my hand. I was playing out in the snow. I was playing in every I, I, a basketball was attached to me, and it just became second nature. Uh, but but it you know but it it takes that kind of dedication. And but with anything though, I mean, you could pick up an instrument and in two years you know really be excellent at it. You can pick up a pen and start writing, and two years later be a, you know an amazing writer. It's just how much how much time you put into it. So. That's the only thing I would challenge young, young aspiring uh, athletes or, or individuals who have a passion about anything. It takes a passion. Find what you're passionate about and pour everything into it. Even you know, it's, it's, it doesn't matter what it is: academics, a job, a hobby, parenting, just whatever it is. Your, your relationships. Just be fully focused about the intent behind it, and that is to be the best you can be every every second of the day. Let's see. What's your thoughts about James versus Bryant? Well, I think uh, my thoughts are one's ten years older, or maybe less than ten years older. You know, it, it, the game passes you by. You know, uh, Kobe is dominating, and it's been his game in the in in the you know from 2000 on to 2010. It seems he had a decade of dominance in basketball, the best player in the game uh, for the majority of those years. Now he's going into that that phase of his game where he's going to have to learn how to, you know, be effective. And, and, and it'll be easier easier probably to root for him now if, you're, if you haven't been a Laker fan or a Kobe fan because he – you all right, man? He's going to come down. Hold on one second, guys. Hold on, be right back. So while he's away from the camera, I'm going to ask you guys, is anybody else freaking out any louder than I am? About what? Freaking out Repeat about being on Tiny Chat with him. Hey, tell me why I'm over here, like, texting my friend to tell him to print screen for me. <laughs> Y'all are too funny. <laughs> I think it's cool he's so down to earth. It's nice yeah, to see that you don't expect that with celebrities, do you? And the words that he's saying, you know, it really sounds like it's coming from not only from experience, but, you know, it's sincere as well. That's what I like and appreciate. Respect, basically, we respect him. Respect the time. Respect. Oh, we're back. Hey, guys. All right, guys. I have a l let's see. I have uh, 15 more minutes. Okay, let's see. Hey, thanks for doing this, by the way. Oh, you're welcome, man. You're welcome. This is actually enjoyable for me too, man. Uh, let's see. So, in the episode that you're um, playing in, are you going to be anyone's love interest? Uh, can't give it away. Um, I, I can't give that away. You gotta tune in for that. Darn. Uh, darn. <laughs> sorry. I mean, what do I, I think know. about Shaq retiring? I, I, I was, uh, I was hoping Shaq would uh, get one more year out of uh, and make it to twenty. I hate I hated watching him go out the way he did. That was difficult. Um knowing that you know he, he's been such a dominant player. I was hoping he'd get one of those once around the league fanfares. Uh but didn't go down that way, but he le he left gracefully. Jordan versus James. Jordan versus James is still early, still too early. Uh to to weigh in on that. I think uh talk about talk about it after or when. Hey guys, um, I'm going to have to sign off now a little early. Fortunately, I have a loved one that's under the weather. Sick right now. Okay guys, uh, thank you so much. This was amazing. I'm going to do this again. Maybe after maybe after game four, uh, we'll do it again, but uh, I got to go. Thank you guys. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you.